just a disclaimer here, uh, this is all a joke. I'm not trying to be insensitive or anything. I do not uh, actually believe any of this. This is all for the sake of comedy, all right? So let's just get into it. Hello, class. Welcome to the most important lesson of your life. Today, we will be learning quantum physics. So join me. So in today's tutorial, we will be learning all about Riz. What is Riz? Riz is a term used in Gen Z slang, which is short for charisma. And you use your charisma, or Riz for short, to help you pick up a partner, serenade somebody, you know, a lot of things. And there are four main types of Riz, and today we will be going over those types of Riz. First Riz up on the lot is W Riz. This is the most co common type of Riz that you will hear about. W is short for winning. So what do you get when you have W Riz? Winning charisma, meaning that you have the best charisma in town. Move on to the second one, and then we'll go into more detail on all of them. The second most common type of Riz you will hear about is L Riz. L is short for losing, as you might have guessed. And if you do this, this means that you have no game at all, and your Riz is very bad. You're not gonna get anybody, and you're gonna die alone just like me. And sorry for that cut out, but we're gonna be moving on to the next one now. The third type of the four types of Riz is Simp Riz. If you don't know what simp means, it means a person that overly is nice to whoever they're trying to court. Why does that sound like we're in Law and Order? Courts! Um, bang bang gong thing. Uh, try, try, Brendan, try to make me a judge right here. And I have a gavel. That's gonna take hours of editing just for that. So it means that you, basically you're a gentleman. Kind of, if you're a guy, uh, I don't know. You're, you're basically a gentleman, but you do it too much or overly nice. And nine times out of ten, if you have this kind of, kind of riz, you will end up in the friend zone. I am sorry. It's just the facts. The fourth and least type common type of riz is known as comedic riz. Comedic riz is when you're overly funny to try to compensate for your looks. Because this right here is like a 6 out of 10 at most. I'd be surprised if I was more. But. Why is the light flickering? This one actually pulls more than people give it credit for. If you're funny, funny guys do win sometimes. It's not as common as when you have W Riz, but comedic Riz does work sometimes. Now let's get into some of the traits of all the types of Riz. Now we are on to the traits of W Riz. Some of the traits are confidence, pickup lines, and attractiveness. Not saying that you have to be necessarily super like uh, Zendaya. Again, referencing my last video. If you want to see that, because I'm Spider Man, it's probably up in the corner, maybe, or at the end of the video, I'll be linked. I don't know. Attractive. Not say saying that you have to be super attractive, you just got to be enough, you know, like, I would say an attractive person is maybe like an 8 out of 10 and higher, uh, pickup lines, you gotta have a good pickup line, not to necessarily a cheesy one, cause that's not gonna do anything, here's one pickup line that's free for all of us to use, feel free to use this one. This belongs to all of us who are taking this class right now. Hey, can I follow you around for the day? Because my mom told me I should always follow my dreams. Lastly, confidence. You gotta be confident with it. You gotta be like, you gotta say it loud and say it proud. You can't be, have W Riz if you're not confident. That is one of the main parts of being having W Riz. So, at the end of this class, we will be choosing what type of Riz fits you the best, and everybody wants to have W Riz, but be honest with yourself. You don't have W Riz. You're a loser. <laughs> Moving on, we are now on to 
L-RIDS traits. Number one, unconfidence. Pretty much exactly the opposite of W-RIDS. Awkward. You don't want to be awkward or else you're going to have L-RIDS. And creepy question mark? There's a question mark there because sometimes if you have L-RIDS it might come off as being a creep. I'm sorry, but that's just true. And finally, not good pickup lines. You have to have a good pickup line, otherwise you're going to fall into this category. Elriz is not the place that you want to be, but there chances are a lot of you are in Elriz. I'm sorry, but it's true. If you want to be Elriz, which means you get no game, uh, be unconfident. You gotta uh, stutter a lot, you, you got Unless you have a speech impediment, that's, um, that's, I'm sorry. Um, you gotta, um, breathe heavily. You gotta not make eye contact at all. You gotta fidget with your hands. That will show that you're not confident. So, if you're trying to be, have Elriz, um, there's that. Awkward. Socially awkward. I'm pretty sure we're all socially awkward sometimes, right? So, but people with... Uh, Elriz take this to a whole other level when trying to court somebody, again, gong. But they take this up to a whole other level. You're just awkward. This kind of goes with so in confidence. If you don't have confidence, it's going to be awkward a little bit. It's, it's just going to be creepy, question mark. Uh, if, if you're talking really weird and, it, and being awkward, sometimes it can come off as creepy. I'm sorry, but also if you are intentionally trying to be creepy, like you're like, hey, can I smell you? That's automatically putting you in Elris. No person is gonna fall for that. I'm sorry, Jacob. I know you're in middle school and still figuring out girls, but that's not attractive. Finally, not good pickup lines. <sighs> They're not good. What classifies as a not good pickup line? Uh, there's actually two types of not good pickup lines. One is overly used ones. Don't say, "Are you from Tennessee?" Because you're the ten, uh, the only ten I see. That's that, don't don't do that. Sometimes in inappropriate ones do work, but you don't want to be using inappropriate ones. A lot of times they actually come off as creepy, which is the last point. We do not want to try to go back to this area. You feel me? Alright, let's move on. The third type of Riz is traits, Simp Riz, uh, are people-pleasing, not willing to joke around. That one's kind of serious. You need to have, be able to do that. And over-complimenting. I'm sorry, you're not going to get some by DMing a girl on Instagram, you're so hot. That's just not going to work, especially if they have over a thousand followers. They're probably not going to respond to you. In fact, I wouldn't even respond to you now with like 26 followers. I would not respond to you. If you call me hot, first of all, don't call me that. Arthur, get off my leg, please. That's my dog. And, uh... Don't, don't do that. It kind of goes with creepy from Elris. And if you get over compliment, you might start to fall from Simpreds, which is slightly better than Elris, to down to Elris. In case you don't know, the uh, types of Riz are organized kind of like the houses from Harry Potter. The two best ones are on the top. Gryffindor is obviously W Riz, uh, and Hufflepuff is comedic Riz. And then on the bottom, Ravenclaw is, um, is Simp Riz. And then on the bo bottom of the uh, totem pole where Slytherin is supposed to be is El Riz. I'm sorry, you don't want to be Slytherin. Going back up the line, not willing to joke around. You can't have a relationship without a little making fun of each other. I'm sorry, if you, if you don't joke around with somebody, they're not going to like you. Really, they're they're just gonna be like, oh, there there's this person that that just wants me to, who just wants to compliment me all the time, which goes into our first one, people ple pleasing. Don't 
over try to people please. You can be nice. Of course, everybody loves a nice person. But don't overdo it. If you, you're like, oh, you, you, you can't do anything wrong. You're perfect. That's not gonna, that's not gonna really do if anything for you, really. But I will admit, on rare occasions, this does work. I am a middle school sir, schooler, so I know everything about how this works. And the fourth and final riz is comedic riz. We're back on there. Traits are funny but not too funny. You don't want to be overly funny because then it might intimidate the per person and also make them think that you can't be serious at all. Which is kind of a turn off sometimes. Intelligent. You have to be intelligent to have a comedic riz because you gotta and be able to pick your uh, pick the funny things because you gotta have a fast intelligent mind to think of things that might make you classify it under comedic riz. You gotta have intelligence to be funny. I'm sorry. Unless you're like a four-year-old who does something stupid. But that's like a whole other classification of funny. But I'm willing to joke around. Opposite of simp riz. Uh, you got to... If you want to have comedic riz, you got to... Playing off each other. You gotta, you gotta insult each other, but in a joking way. Don't, like, insult something that you know the person is insecure about. Because that's just going to hurt your chances even more if you have comedic riz. Uh, and usually, they people with comedic riz, I'm sorry, they're not really that attractive. I'm sorry. You want to know why people with comedic riz usually aren't that att attractive? Because uh, unlike most people who are hot, they actually had to develop a personality in order to get game. Because, uh, I'm sorry, I'm not Shawn Mendes over here wooing all these girl girls, so I had to actually uh, figure out how to write jokes. That's basically what it's like for them. Don't feel bad for them because th they probably have a big head. Which is why I classify under comedic riz. And to end it off, I'm just going to give you some tips on how to approach people. This is mainly for the guys because... Obviously, I don't know how, I know how to pick up ladies, but I don't know how to pick up guys, so sorry, ladies. Uh, maybe I'll have a part two where I teach you guys how to court a man. Gong. Number one thing you want to do is, if you have any type of riz, guys, if you're trying to get a girl, you gotta get her attention first, right? So, number th one thing to one way to get some a girl's attention is to, when, like, say she's on her phone or something, like, just walking around, mind your own business. Do 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 ah! ah! What are you doing? Oh, well, I listened to this guy on YouTube, and he told me I should yell at you in the face. Because that's the number one way to get a girl's attention, you know? Well, that guy doesn't seem like a very good person you should be listening to for this. Subscribe! <laughs>